so I've been going through my camera bag this week um, and I may have mentioned before that I have the the Fujifilm 50mm f2 that I just never ever use so um, so yeah I finally got rid of that that's gone that went this morning all packaged up and uh, yeah Curry is taking it so yeah goodbye <laughs> um, I have ordered the the 16mm f2.8 Fujifilm so hopefully that will do me uh, a little bit a little bit better I'm um, gonna use that more for video I think that's the plan anyway um, but I have the uh, Asahi uh, what is it Asahi Seku one second let's read it out it's got quite a name Asahi SMC Takuma uh, 55mm f1.8 um, this I've had for a while like I bought it when I had um, my 5D Mark III um, so on on the full frame it would you know it would obviously work out at 55 mil which was really useful for me you know it's a focal length well around 50 mils that I use uh, you know quite a lot and and less um, but yeah the uh, on the Fujifilm with the crop sensor it works out about what 80 85 somewhere around there anyway and um, it's usually just a bit too long and this is the problem that I had with the the Fuji 50mm f2 is that it was just a focal length I just never ever used um, but I wanted to give this another go because it you know it it renders some really interesting interesting images you know obviously it's it's quite an old lens um, so it's just uh, yeah, it's got some interesting characteristics. So I want to see how that was gonna, how that was gonna go. Um, but yeah, with with, I didn't need two of the same focal length. Um, and the Fujifilm, you know, it was a lot of money. You know, it's around three hundred pounds worth. You know, just in one lens sitting in my bag, and if I'm not gonna use it, I may as well use it to get something, get something else. So that was, that's the idea anyway. Um, but yeah, so been out today and taken the the Asahi lens out um, and this is what today's video is all about so it's just a bit of an experiment really is is to see what what I'm gonna get and what I can use this for in the future um, so yeah let's uh, let's get into the video <laughs> to Hatfield Colliery, a place I've been wanting to shoot for a while now. This seemed like the perfect fit for me to try this lens. I know I would be shooting from a distance and not able to get too close, so the extra focal length on the Asahi would really come in handy. Working out at 82.5mm on a crop sensor, this might just give me the reach I needed. It wasn't the greatest of days, the weather was bland to say the least. I can deal with overcast, but the sky was particularly flat today. I thought it could maybe work in my favour, seeing as the mine has been abandoned for a few years now, and could really add to the bleak and lonely scenes I was about to discover.
straight away I can tell you that one thing that modern lenses are getting so wrong is the feel of the focus ring. The focus by wire mechanism in a modern lens doesn't come anywhere close to the manually moving the elements and the damp and tactile feel you get in return. It makes manual focus such a joy to use and I can say personally it is a much more satisfying experience than autofocus will ever be. Combined with focus peaking and being able to punch into the image on the LCD, it is one of the most authentic and engaging experiences you can have with photography. images I got from this trip I can safely say I wasn't overly excited about. The images I had in mind I was able to get, but there was just something missing. A lack of feel, a lack of soul, who knows. I managed to get a couple of interesting compositions, but all ended up missing the mark of what I was really going for and what I expected. We all have those days, but that in itself can be a positive. It is important to sit back and try to realise what it is that could have gone better. Sometimes locations can seem like they will give you great compositions, but can be really hard to actually capture. Other times it's the weather and the light that doesn't really complement your subject. And other times, you just don't make the most of your surroundings. One thing I do know, is that it was fun to try. <laughs> One thing I learnt about the Asahi SMC Takuma 55mm f1.8 is that it renders unlike anything else I have in my bag, so for a change of pace and something different, that is good to know. I can safely say that sharpness across the frame is great, the corners are fine and I really enjoy the bokeh this lens produces. Things to know are that it does render quite warm, but for me it's not all that pleasant, it looks a little dirty to me. I do edit my images generally with this kind of feel, so it seems a contradiction that I would find this to be an issue. But I had more of a hard time in post getting the colours that I was satisfied with. I think I will have to spend more time learning where this lens can shine, because it definitely has potential. This lens also has low contrast, which is nice because it can give some really nice roll off from the highlight into the shadows as well. I have helped this along by using a diffusion filter, so that does exaggerate the effect somewhat. In conclusion, I feel like I'm still left with the same curiosity I had when I started. I wanted to be blown away, but it never happened. I know I could have definitely done a better job, so it would be unfair of me to judge this lens on this one experience. One thing that I was reassured though, is that using older lenses is a blast, and an adventure within itself. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, 
I feel like I was a little, maybe a little bit negative in the video, um, but yeah, this this lens does give me like mixed feelings. Like on one hand, you know, it's really really great, and then uh, yeah, on the other, just there are there are just a few things that just bother me uh, more so than than uh, than any other lens really. But um, after going through the images again, I mean, sometimes this happens. Like I. I I need a break from uh, you know from editing and from the things that I've seen, and then come back to come back to them like the next day or or at least just a few hours later. And sometimes you can com feel completely different. Um, and I feel like that's the case. The more I look at the more I look at these images, the more um, I feel you know a little a little bit better about them. Um, so yeah, um, I, I I have picked um, a, a few that I do. I do quite like and that, that just encompass the the feeling that I was probably going for um so yeah the first one is the one um with the red bucket with the the colliery out of focus in the background um this one I I do quite like like when I first when I saw this at on location um I was quite excited about this scene because I felt like it told uh, you know quite a good story like it you know you, you you focus on the um you know on the things that the people have left behind you know and then you've got the the wreckage of the place in the background which i thought was really cool and with it being out of focus as well i think it adds to it a little bit of mystery um and and you can kind of fill in the fill in the blanks yourself which i really 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 like so yeah that that one's my first one that i think is pretty cool yeah the second one that i really like is uh with with the road winding winding down the hill uh, with the yellow barrier at the bottom uh, I like the simplicity of this one. It, I think it looks really, really cool, and it's definitely feels like walking through a wasteland, you know, like in uh, in a Fallout game or something. Um, and I, I really like the the pop of yellow on the barrier at the bottom. I think it really stands out, and it makes it look really, really, really interesting. It really gives a focus. So uh, yeah, I really like that one. That's really cool too. Yeah, and the last one that I really uh, I really come to like is the uh, the one looking out at the the lone road sign um I, i'm not really sure why that's there like I, I don't know if there was a road there and then it's they've just destroyed it or what but I, I, this really again gives me um you know like post apocalyptic vibes uh yeah it's really cool i really like the simplicity of that as well there's just you know the, obviously there's not much there's like the the blank sky and you know just the the gray gravel or, or whatever and a little bit of grass and then just the sign and i think it's just yeah i really like this composition it's proper cool so uh, so yeah after all that after the the negativity of of uh, the first day uh, there are some that you know maybe i needed the uh, just a little bit more of a a look and a bit more of a a breakdown and uh, yeah just to get used to um but yeah that those three are probably my favorite images okay so if you like this video maybe you could uh, give me a like and um, and maybe even consider subscribing as well and um, let me know in the comments which Im which of the images that you liked um, and whether you agree with my choices um, yeah it'd be interesting to hear uh, you know some other people's opinions um, but with that being said uh, yeah this was a fun one so uh, yeah see you in the next video